Hey guys, what's up? Medic Steve here. So today I went over to Best Buy and uh, I swapped out my laptop, my MacBook Pro. Reason being is because originally I had purchased it and uh, it was a 13 inch MacBook Pro with your uh, 256 gigabyte of memory. It had eight gigs of RAM. It had the trackpad. And that one had an i5 processor. That one was going for $17.99. And when I took it home, you know, I just told myself at the at the store that I was just gonna upgrade, you know, the RAM and I'll upgrade the storage on my own. After doing a little bit of research on that, I found out that I would actually void the warranty provided by Apple. And I didn't want to do that. And the only way to avoid that would be to either take my laptop to an authorized dealer so they could put in the the RAM themselves and the storage and that would potentially keep my warranty active but for some reason they said that they weren't they wouldn't truly be sure if that would be the case because I guess the memory or the RAM that basically the products would have to be certified Apple pro Apple products and uh, in the end, just get, you know, to save a headache and to save a lot of research and locations and all this nonsense, I just went to uh, went back to Best Buy and I just exchanged my laptop for the upgraded version. Now, the upgraded version is uh, has an i7 processor. Uh, it has 512 gigs of storage, and you're looking at 16 gigabytes of RAM. And the unique thing about this though, it's a little weird, is that the uh, the 13 inch screen, it has a 3.1 gigahertz processor. And on the MacBook Pro that's uh, 15 inches, it's 2.9 gigahertz. And I'm not sure why. I believe it, I mean, maybe because the i7 processor that they have on that one is a, uh, is different. I mean, obviously, one's i uh, the 13 inch was i5, and the 15 inch is uh, i7. Honestly, I don't know why they would do that, but either way, you know, I have this one now, and like I said, this one comes with 16 gigabytes of RAM. It has an i7 processor, 512 uh, gigabytes of storage, and that one's going for uh, 27.99. It was on sale, so I got it for. 2549 and originally I had purchased Apple care for the for the MacBook on the 13 inch that one was 269 for two-year protection plan now if you go with the 15 inch screen it's gonna be 379 for a two-year plan luckily that since it was on sale I mean I was able to use the the, the money that was uh, Towards the sale, toward I can I used it towards the Apple Pro, uh, Care Protection Plan. With that being said, basically, you know I'm happy. Um, the reason why I did this whole switch in the first place is because I'm mainly going to be focusing on my video editing software and all my video edits on my Mac. I'm be using I have a PC at home. I have a tower. You know that I have an i7 processor and all that terabyte of memory. Um, but I'm mainly going to be using my PC for browsing, Facebook, social media, Hulu, stuff like that. And I'm going to be using my MacBook Pro for school and for video editing. I want to start getting into professional video editing. And I've been searching around, asking around, and people are saying that if you're going to get into professional video editing, that everybody uses uh, Macintosh video editing. They don't use PC. I'm not sure if this is true. You can correct me if I'm wrong. But they said the industry requires you to use Mac for websites and for anything that is done professionally is used with Mac or Apple products or basically Mac OS. So it's a good investment to me that I did that because I do want to get into video editing in a professional sense. Now to go back onto the storage, you can get this MacBook Pro with one terabyte of memory, but you would have to act like when you do that, Apple has to actually build it from the ground up for you, and then they send out 
the laptop to you, either to the store or to your house, whichever you prefer. And knowing, I mean, I was prob I was pretty close to doing that, but the way I am, sometimes I like instant gratification. So I just got the laptop today and I didn't want to wait. I figured I can just get an external uh, solid state drive storage, you know, external storage. But that's mainly the, the big difference. I'd either have to wait or I can just use my own storage. Now as for the gigahertz, I don't understand why that's done like that, you know, but it's not really that big of a deal to me. Okay, so well, with that being said, let's go ahead and open this up and I'll show you what's inside. There's really not that much inside the package. As always, Apple products, they always come in beautiful packaging. Everything's very nice. Always packaged up in a professional, beautiful looking way. Boom. Set that here for now. You get your... Uh, cable you got your instruction manual set of stickers the usual stuff that that comes in and comes with Apple products you got your power adapter And that's all that comes inside the box. Now here are the specs. You got your 15.4 inch Retina LED backlight display with IPS technology. Uh, 2880 by 1800 megapixels. 2.9 gigahertz quad core Intel i7 with 8 megabytes of uh, cache, L3 cache. You got 16 gigabytes of LPDDR3 SD RAM. 512 gigabytes PCI based SSD. You got your Radeon Pro 560 with 4 gigabytes of uh, GDDR5 memory. Intel HD Graphics 630 and 4 Thunderbolt three USB-C ports support for high speed and video output you got your headphone jack your touch bar and your touch ID you know use your fingerprint you got your backlight backlit keyboard with ambient light sensor 802.11 AC Wi-Fi and Bluetooth 4.2 you have your FaceTime HD camera you have your pre-installed Mac OS and uh, the size and weight, basically 13 by 75, 1375 by 948 inches, uh, and it meets this Energy Star requirements. That's about it with that. Let's go ahead and take off the wrapping here. There you go, as you can see, it's turning on. Now I'm not gonna sit here and, uh, you know, set it up on camera, but just wanted to just show you guys what comes in the box, what to be expected of the box, what's uh, what, what you're gonna be expecting 
purchasing this uh, this device. I guess one more thing I'll show you guys before I actually do head out is I've done a video on this already before, but I have this right here. This little hub, it's uh, really nice. It comes with uh, USB, SD card readers. Uh, you can charge your devices while plugged in. It's a, it's a good investment. I got this on Amazon. It's from uh, Hutu. There's a couple different other kinds you can get. I, I purchased this one. I'm happy with this one. I like it a lot. You can go ahead and plug it into one of your ports and pretty much good to go. See, there it is. You can choose your language, begin. It does have a very large trackpad and I've heard mixed reviews and opinions on basically how large it is because sometimes when you're trying to edit video and stuff like that, it could be so big that you're actually straining your finger because going back and forth. But you know, I haven't had that issue yet because I'm still new to this. And I'm like I said, I'm starting this from the ground up. I've downloaded a couple of videos. I've downloaded some PDFs. I've seen some, I found some very knowledgeable people on YouTube that are gonna assist me in my adventures of learning how to do video editing. So that being said, basically this is what you get. I'm starting off here with that. And yeah, that's about it. I appreciate you guys watching. Talk to you guys later. Medic Steve out.